Hey guys, Tepco Cycle Repair. As you can see, we're at a bit of a standstill. I got snow all on the ground here. I got a street bike in there. I got to get out, and I don't want to run it through the snow. And what you can't see is the ice underneath it. So water runs all through here when it melts. This is North Carolina, so it melts and freezes and melts and freezes. So I got a bunch of ice here. I don't want to take that chance, so I'm at a standstill. So what I'm going to do in the meantime is I got a couple of crash bars for the GSXR that's in there that I got to paint. I couldn't find a sandblaster, so I bought my own. This is a vacuum style sandblaster. It's got a recovery system here. It's a little dirty and dusty. It needs a good cleaning, a small repair there. Uh, I'll be able to handle all that stuff. But the problem now is that this is taking up my entire trailer. It won't fit in that shop and my new shop is not built yet. So to try to give you guys an idea how big the shop is going to be, it's going to be about from the, where the front of this mower is all the way back to where those uh, containers are. It's going to have a 12 foot overhang in the back. It's going to end at those containers. Uh, so it's, it'll be a good size shop. I'll be able to get a lot more things done in here. I'm going to be able to incorporate a lot of the things that I have to keep moving back and forth and moving all around for, like my welders. Uh, my welder is in the front garage, and I have a small welder back there. And it just I, I need them together. The sandblaster will be in there. That one I'll probably use for painting motorcycle parts because it's got a big exhaust fan in there, and I could set that up like a spray booth. But I can't get the shop done until the weather warms up a little bit so they can lay cement here. So they got to lay the pad. I got to get the permit. I'm clearing trees in the meantime, and it snowed in the middle of everything. So, you know, I got to get all this stuff done and get that shop built because it is, I, I'm in dire need of that thing. I got a lot of work coming in, a lot of videos for you guys to make. I just got to get the shop up here. It's, this is just killing me. I also picked up a four wheeler to help me build some trails and stuff and to pull things around here. And this doesn't run. I bought it. So we're going to do some troubleshooting in there so I can show you how to do a basic troubleshooting with a carbureted machine. That's going to be pretty cool. I got the electric bike battery here getting ready to get uh, shipped over to California. That's already on a pallet. I got it sitting on a blanket so it doesn't get any damage in transport. And we'll wrap that all up and get that shipped out. And for you dirt bike guys to follow my channel, I got a 2002 Sierra 450 that's on standby. So as soon as I get everything up and going, I'm going to have a lot more room to do stuff. I'm going to be running multiple multiple uh, builds and repairs, and it's just going to be awesome. I just I just can't wait to get the shop up, guys. So stay tuned. Um, hopefully uh, you like this update video. What's going on? Uh, hopefully uh, I, you know I have a couple videos already loaded, so we won't have any problems with um, videos still coming at you every Monday. Uh, this one here, I'm going to just throw up as soon as I'm done editing it, so you have an idea. So uh, I'm keeping videos coming at you guys. I'm looking forward to do some more riding. Uh, my buddy's built some really good trails on some uh, land that we lease, so uh, thank you, Mike, for doing that. I'm looking forward to riding those. So let's keep on it, guys. I am. I'm, I cannot wait to get this shop built. It's been a long time coming. Um, so. Sometimes you're just not in a financially good place to get it done, but now I am. Steady hard work, guys. You don't get rich overnight. It's just how it is. Uh, so let's get it done, guys. I'll see you on the next one. Please hit the like button, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications. Until next time, this is Tepco Cycle Bear.